We are constantly changing on a daily basis. We cannot change what's coming to us or what's going to happen to us. We can prepare for it. The only thing that can be changed is what's already been done, and that's the past. I had created a tattoo, if you can see. The middle one is bigger because it goes mind, body, spirit, past, present, future, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And the reason why the middle one is the biggest one is because that's the most important one. Our bodies are important. What we do to it is important. Being present is important. And it reminds me when I'm doing hair in the salon that when I look down, it reminds me to breathe because I have anxiety. Also, it's a tattoo to remind me of everything that I've been through in my life. It's kind of like the semicolon, but it's different. I, I don't know, one day it came up in my head and I designed it. As a child, I've always been gifted. I've always been to f able to feel things, have dreams, see things, witness things. But it got suppressed because as a teenager, when you grow up, you go through depression and suicidal thoughts and so on. I didn't have the easiest life growing up. And I'm not saying that for anyone to have sympathy for me or anything like that because everybody goes through things. But to start off, I was always interested in becoming a nurse or doing something in the medical field. And when I graduated high school, I am enrolled to college to be a nurse. I took about a year and a half of prerequisites and halfway through it I decided this isn't for me. I can't do this. It's too much work because at the time my stepfather had passed away and my siblings were young and my mom was disabled and I needed something fast and I needed something quick because I needed to start being the provider. So one day I was in the living room, it was about 3 a.m. My mom was sleeping on the couch that night for some reason. And I broke down and I started praying and I started crying and I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? This is hard, this is difficult. Cause at the time I was working three days a week at a diner and um, it was okay, but I'm like, I just, I don't know what to do. So, as I'm finishing my prayer and I'm crying, I hear music on the TV and it caught my interest. So I look up and I see models like walking down a runway and their hair all beautiful, their makeup all done. And it was, the music, the upbeat, the photography, everything about it made me like, I was like, oh, this feels like home. Because I've always had an interest for hair. I had horror stories like cutting my sister's hair and like stuff like that but I was like okay I went on my phone I typed in cosmetology schools near me put on my information the next day I get a call and it was a local beauty school and they said would you like to come in for a walkthrough I was like alright so this happened on a Wednesday into a Thursday. Thursday I went through the walkthrough. I had coerced my mom to go with me. And her head, she wanted to be a, me to be a nurse. But I was like, let's just go because, you know, I want to see what it's like. Because I was always interested in acting and modeling and beauty and photography and music videos and all kinds of stuff. Runways, high fashion. So we went to the school. And she goes, okay. She walked me through. She goes, you know, the total of the school is 17500 um, if you do apply, you, the only thing you need to pay out of pocket is 1200 for your kit. I was like, okay. So at the time, I'm like, I don't have $1,200. So I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll think about it. We left. So I get home. And whatever, I just think about it. I wake up Friday. Now, mind you, I'm in college at this time. I get my student return check. It was $1,275. I was like, this is a sign, this is it, like, I gotta do this. So I called the school, told them I got the check, whatever. She goes, okay, come on in. I went in, gave her the check. She tells me that I'll get, she gave me the kit. And she goes, it comes with all this stuff, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, all right, well, so since I'm enrolled now, like, what happens with uh, student aid because I'm in college currently 
blah 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 and she goes oh we'll just take from your spring and add that to your to the loan and blah 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 and this and that and I'm like okay so what do I do with the college she goes you just finish your college and you could do the school at the same time I'm like all right so I'm like when do I start and she goes well today was the deadline so class starts on Monday I was like what she's like yeah it starts on Monday and I'm like okay so it interfered with one of my classes or two of my classes so I went to the college dropped the two classes stayed the two night classes and then I went to school Monday through Friday nine to five and after a couple of months I went Tuesday to Saturday nine to five and then I stayed I think it was two nights a week six to nine at the college until the semester finished it was only like a month and a half away so I finished that I graduated nine months later my cousin got me a job where she was at a company and I've been at that company now for 13 years but what progressed my spirituality and the medical field and all that that came along with it it was intense and um, I ended up in Reiki and that's a whole story and I ended up in the holistic and all that stuff like that so I don't want to share all that information in this video because I wanted to make it into two separate videos. One is how I became a hairdresser and one is how I became a Reiki therapist. So please like, comment, subscribe this video and stay tuned for the next video because that story is awesome.